they're going to go to NCAA tournament with one or two games. But you've been doing that for a few years, and it's been more or less the same thing, meaning more or less the same number of games. Um, what does your program need to do to go break out of that this current kind of plateau of very good play into great play or excellent for the next level? Well, I think that that's something that we um, felt like going into this year. This was the year that we were going to make that transition. And what we did is we went out and, and put a schedule together that we felt like was going to challenge us early um, and help us get to a level we've never been to. I mean, there's not too many teams in the country that are going to play UConn, Georgetown, Tennessee in one week. And the fact that we have that on our schedule, um, along with playing Georgia, Northwestern, Old Dominion, and Washington, I think that that's going to help prepare us uh, to do bigger things down in January and February. Um, you know, we're not going to see anything in January and February we don't see in November um, and December. So, um, you know, I think that was the first step, was upgrading the schedule and putting ourselves in a position where we're playing the very best teams in the country. Um, not only do we do that in the ACC, but do it in the pre-conference. And that's that's the first step. And then the second step is we've got to have, um, we had to add more depth. We had to have perimeter shooting. We had to add some three-point shooters. I think um, when you get deep into postseason, you got to have depth. You can't depend on one or two people to carry your scoring load. You have to have balance offensive balance and we've never had that the type of offensive balance that we have this year we've never had that in the past. Can you go into a little more detail about that? I mean beyond um, Alex Montgomery, uh, Deja Foster, who else do you see stepping up as people are going to carry the scoring load? Well, you know, Sasha Goodla good has started for us, um, you know, and, and averaged almost in double figures the last two years. Sure. Um, so we're, we're expecting those big things from her. We're expecting a tremendous amount of improvement from her. Um, and then, you know, like you mentioned, Alex Montgomery last year played at 75%. This year will be her first, she's going to be about 100%. And I think uh, if she can consistently put it on the floor night in, night out, you'll see one of the top five players in the ACC. She's very improved, um, stronger, faster, quicker, uh, can finish in a lot of different ways. I'm expecting her to put a lot of points on the board. And then you throw in, you know, Deja Foster on the defensive end. And we've got some newcomers. Uh, you know, we, we returned ten letter winners, four starters, and but we had six new players. Um, four freshmen and, and a player, Danny Hamilton Carter, who sat out a year ago, uh, will be eligible for December the 5th for the Georgia game, who was uh, fifth in the European Championships in scoring this past summer. And, you know, just to uh, give us depth inside that we've never had. We've never had two six four centers inside that both are capable of putting up double figures. And then you add um, Nisha Adams, who's a tremendous shooter, and Chelsea Regions, who gives us depth at the four position. Um, we've got four different perimeter players, five different perimeter players returning that started a year ago at different times. So, uh, you know, I feel like we've got some, some balance and some depth that we've never had before. Is there, um, it sounds, you, you've got depth, it sounds like. Um, it obviously needs to be sort of played out on the floor since a lot of these players are young. Mm -hmm. um, is there, a, you said you need depth with shooting, uh, perimeter balance. Who's going to help Foster and Montgomery as another really legitimate three-point threat on a consistent basis. Right. Well, I think one of the, the players that comes to my mind right away is Frida Fodgemar, a freshman from Sweden. Um, she's 6'2", can play the 2, 3, or the 4. Um, she played on the national team this past summer in Sweden as well, and she's a tremendous three-point shooter. Um, you know, it's going to take her a, a, a few games to learn our system and, and learn how we play, but uh, she's one of the best three-point shooters that we've had at Georgia Tech, um, and she's I think she could consistent help us along with uh, Sandra Naji who's a, another Swedish player that's a left-handed three-point shooter uh, those two are both freshmen so you know like you, you mentioned uh, until they get some games under their belt that the jury's still out on that but they do uh, give us uh, that in practice you know it's, it's nice to see them having three-point shooters on the floor I think when you have one great shooter it makes everybody else around them better shooters and uh, the, those two bring that you know to practice every day um, but we also have um, some players we returned from a year ago um, outside of Alex Montgomery, Sharina, Sharina Taylor, who um, you know I think is, is really developed and she's uh, stronger, uh, faster, and plays, can play one, two, or three. And she's really shown early on some of our exhibition games that she can score in a variety of ways. So.
look for some things out of her. Well, Bennett is a player who's shown flashes but not consistency. Is she ready this year to be more consistent, do you think? I think so. I think Mo likes the role that she's, that she's, uh, it looks like she's going to play at this point, and that's, you know, coming off the bench as the sixth person, first guard off the bench, and, and being a spark on defense. And, you know, she, she has had games where she scored, you know, first game of her career, she put 19 on UConn at UConn, you know. Um, she, we know she's, she can do some, she's capable of putting up some numbers. Uh, like you mentioned, it's the consistency, you know. Um, but the thing we want out of Mo Ben is, is defense and rebounding, and that's what she gives us. Um, just a tremendous defense player. It seems that um, no matter how good your recruiting classes are, there's always an adjustment here in your program because uh, it takes a lot of your defense and rebounding are emphasized to such a degree that it can be kind of a culture shock for players. No doubt. Do you see? Do you see that's going to pay off this year in a way that didn't necessarily last year for some of the young players? I think so. This is, you know, I've been the head coach at Georgia Tech eight years. This will be my eighth year, and this is the first team that I've had that I've had more than four upperclassmen. Um, I've never had more than four juniors and seniors in those years, and so I have eight upperclassmen this year, which is a, you know, a huge asset when you play as, as complicated defensive system as we do. Um, and so I think that that's, our system is finally evolving um, where we have upperclassmen now that have been in the, in the program two and three years. And I think that, that I'm, you know, I, what I'm seeing right now early on is we're way ahead of where we were last year after 14 practices. Um, but I think that's, that's because of the returners. And, you know, you have 10 letter winners out there on the floor. That's, that's a totally different situation than having four upperclassmen out there. So um, I do think we are evolving, and I do think it's going to pay off. Is um, You talked about Sasha Goodlett earlier, and when she plays and she's on the floor, she can be a devastating force, but she hasn't always been able to have the conditioning you might want for a player. What, kind, what level of commitment has she shown this summer to being in optimal shape for your program? Well, she's lost, uh, you know, not only has she lost um, weight, she's also gotten a better cardio condition. She, um, our team lifted four days a week. She lifted five um, you know, throughout the course of the summer. And on Saturdays and Sundays, she ran distance with our strength coach. So she was on a seven-day-a-week program throughout you know, three months of the summer. And she just made an individual commitment to becoming a, 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 a well, more well-conditioned player. Thank you.